Hello friends, we are in the latest episode of Transfer News. The winter transfer window is still ongoing and we are discussing the agenda and the latest developments. Don't forget to subscribe. Timo Werner has swiftly completed his transfer to Tottenham. Postekoglu, in search of a striker, approved the German forwards transfer and the process has progressed remarkably fast. Even the Tottenham fans are not accustomed to this pace, joking among themselves, saying, how did we complete a transfer in just one day? Tottenham has acquired Werner on a loan basis, with no obligatory purchase clause. If they decide to buy, there is a price tag of 17 million euros, contingent on certain conditions. It's all up to Tottenham to decide. Werner has played on the left wing in various formations in recent years. Perhaps his performance has declined, and he hasn't scored many goals, but he has evolved into a versatile player. I believe this is the main reason Tottenham decided to sign him. Meanwhile, he is thrilled to have the opportunity to play in the Premier League again. When Tottenham made an offer after Fulham, he didn't hesitate for a minute. Roberto Firmino is considering leaving Saudi Arabia, but the 32-year-old star still has a two-year contract with the Saudi team. A unilateral agreement is impossible. In fact, the Saudi team is also willing to let him go, but they are demanding a transfer fee. Negotiations are necessary for this to happen. Firmino is one of the players who struggled in Saudi Arabia, having played a total of 19 official matches, scoring three goals, and providing three assists. He is currently contemplating a return to the Premier League. If he doesn't receive offers from there, Germany could have been an option, but returning to England is his top priority. If Al Ali agrees, he could return even today. Borussia Dortmund has initiated talks with Nuremberg for Knusen, who has caught the interest of Bayern Munich. He is considered the most valuable player in Bundesliga 2. Nuremberg, his current team, is demanding 10 million euros for the 18-year-old player. We mentioned that Roma has no spending limit, therefore, they have turned to a young player for their defensive needs. They have acquired 18-year-old defender Dean Hwijzen from Juventus. Roma has secured his services on loan until the end of the season for a fee of only €650,000. Moise Keane could leave Juventus on loan during the mid-season transfer window. Feyenoord and Galatasaray had previously made offers for the Italian star. I think it's currently a significant opportunity especially with clubs like Braga expressing interest. This is because Keane has a desire to prove himself in the forward position. Manchester United is reluctant to include a buyback clause for Jadon Sancho in the deal with Borussia Dortmund. Despite Dortmund's efforts for such a clause, United had paid €85 million Euros for him, making it unlikely for them to accept a €30 million Euros buyback clause. Meanwhile, United will cover a significant portion of Sancho's salary. Once Dortmund stops insisting on the buyback clause, the official signature will follow. Diego Costa, who parted ways with Botafogo, has been suggested to Corinthians. The legendary 35-year-old striker is not considering retirement. While Corinthians has not made a decision yet and currently does not have a need for a striker, Costa may start looking for a team outside of Brazil in the coming days. Thiago Jalo, who plays for Lille, had his contract expiring at the end of the season, and rather than losing him on a free transfer, they decided to sell him in January. Juventus has reached an agreement with Lille for the transfer of the 23-year-old defender for €3.5 million. Euros. Boca Juniors captain Marcos Rovo may move to enter Miami. Lionel Messi is the key factor in this transfer, and it is planned for him to contribute to the MLS team in terms of defence. Recently, as Liverpool is reported to have made an offer for Mbappe, it is claimed that Real Madrid has completed the transfer. Several different sources from France have announced that Mbappe will play for Real Madrid next season. Just last week, he stated, I haven't agreed with anyone. He made a similar statement yesterday, emphasizing that he hasn't reached an agreement with anyone and the transfer has not been discussed. However, the emerging reports insist that his transfer to Real Madrid is imminent. Dybala's dream is to play in the Premier League, and now the whole world knows it. The star from Roma currently has a release clause of €12 million, Euros, valid only for the next seven days until the 15th day of January. Right now, Dybala has the chance to make a transfer. Manchester United is a team with a possibility of making a move. They can even initiate discussions for Dybala at any moment. News from England suggests this, especially with fans expressing a strong desire for Dybala. The €12 million Euros is roughly equivalent to £10 million making it a significant opportunity for United. There is currently a Dybala available for free. Let's see if a move will be made. By the way, Benzema is also on the agenda for the Red Devils. Currently, Manchester United is in search of a striker, and both Dybala and Benzema would be significant surprises, 
but they are needed. Former striker Saiha had mentioned, they need a name that will make a revolution in the near future. I think acquiring Benzema for that role would be a tremendous success. Despite being 36 years old, the lethal striker with a wealth of experience could be the game-changer for United. He is also looking to leave Saudi Arabia. The idea of succeeding in the Premier League after the age of 35 could be a massive motivation for him. Bayern Muni has once again considered Eric Dier for the centre-back position. The transfer is entirely dependent on Bayern because the player really wants it, saying, sort out the details, I want to come. However, Bayern still does not believe it is the right move for his future. As a result, they have entered into the transfer negotiations for Radu Draguzin, who has not yet signed with Tottenham. He is much younger and has more potential. When Bayern made an offer, Genoa did not complete the agreement with Tottenham, they are waiting. The latest offer from Germany is €30 million. Euros. Bayern Munich is currently attempting to pull off a transfer move from Tottenham. Bayern Muni is now making a more serious attempt to secure the transfer of Polonia from Fulham. Tuchel doesn't want any more delays in transfers. This move for the midfield, which should have actually happened in the summer, could be completed within a week. The transfer is expected to be finalized between 52 and 56 million euros. If Bayern Munich aims for the championship, they need to make these transfers. There is another half of the season to compete with Bayer Leverkusen, and currently, they are four points behind, despite having a game in hand. Arsenal continues to investigate the situation of English forward Ivan Toney. He remains at the top of the list, but funds are needed. If a sale of around 60 million euros comes through within a week, Toney's chances will increase. Arsenal has fallen behind in the title race and there are difficulties in scoring. Such a situation often prompts transfers to bigger teams. We are still waiting for Toney. Real Madrid may acquire a centre-back if suitable conditions arise, they are considering making a move for a centre-back. The current focus is on Jared Branthwaite, who plays for Everton. With Eder Militao out for at least five more months, they have made an offer to strengthen the rotation. Real Madrid also wants to make a prudent transfer. The 21-year-old Englishman Jared has a bright future, making him a suitable transfer in line with the culture of Real Madrid. Galatasaray's head coach, Okan Burek, denied the claims that Hakim Ziyech is unhappy. However, he did not confirm that Ziyech will stay regarding the transfer issue. We expect Hakim Ziyech to transfer to either Saudi Arabia or his former club Ajax in January. The Moroccan star seems to have reached the end of his career at Galatasaray. Lionel Messi is getting another link man at Inter Miami with the Herons tying up a deal for USA star Julian Gressel. The 2023 League's Cup winners, who boast big ambition for the 2024 MLS campaign, have already added veteran former Liverpool and Barcelona striker Luis Suarez to their ranks during the offseason. While the Uruguayan frontman brings extra goal threat, Tata Martino is also in the market for more creativity. That search has led David Beckham and the Inter-Miami board in the direction of Gressel, who severed ties with the Columbus crew at the end of the 2023 campaign. The German-born United States international, who has six senior caps to his name, has agreed a two-year contract in Florida, and it's set to bolster their defensive and offensive ranks with his versatility on the pitch.